kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the last part of my video series on stream video using FFmpeg library in Android Studio. All right. So here we uh, uh, we have done the services part, and now we are going to back to our progress bar activity. And now here we will receive the values from the service activity, and then we will check if the uh, if the percentage is equal to hundred, then we can stop the service and finish this, and also print a toast message that the uh, that the file is successfully saved into the directory so here we will have let's say we i have this m connection and here we need to create a new service connection and inside this on service connected uh, method we are first of all going to use the ffmpeg uh, service to the local uh, local binder so we can say ffmpeg service dot local binder binder equal to ffmpeg service dot local service and here we can have the i binder all right so now we have uh, bind it to the local uh, service then we need to cast the bind service and get this local service instance so here we can get the local service instance by saying ffmpeg service and it is an object so we can equal to binder dot get service instance and then we can now register this so we can say uh, ffmpeg service dot register aligned and here we can pass the get parent and it will return as the current activity all right so now we need to use the observer to uh, get the values so for that we can use final observer and it will be our life cycle and it will be of type integer then we can say result observer equal to new observer and inside this on changed method we are now going to first of all use res equal to integer then we can check if res is less than 100 then we need to update it so we can the circular uh, progress bar so we can say circular circular progress bar dot set progress and it will be this and then here we can now check if race is equal to 100 then we need to set circle progress bar dot set progress and it will be equal to 100 then we need to stop the service and we can pass i and let me see what is this i and we need to make it final and this is the result okay and finally uh, after this we can simply say ffmpeg service dot get percentage and we can use, uh, use the method observe and inside that we can pass our current activity that is progress bar activity dot this and finally we can pass the result observer to this here all right guys so here also we need to set uh, or we need to display a message that it is done so we can say toast dot make text uh, video trimmed successfully and here all right guys so i think that is uh we have completed the code so now we need to let us we now need to i'll run it so for that let me connect my device and also let me connect the side sync and 
yes i think i have forgotten something that is after this on service disconnected method here we now need to bind the service i think i have forgotten to to bind it so we can use bind service and here we need to pass i then intent service then we need to use the my connection and then we can say context dot bind auto create all right that is it now okay uh, i think i have done a mistake so instead of i we need to use my intent so here we need to use this my intent and then also uh, we can use this my intent here all right so here we need to declare it final and that is it let me see where i am using this i okay so i think now that our app is now complete and now let me show you the output yes i think i have also uh, forgotten something or no let me see okay so i think that is enough now so let's see how it works and yes now our app is running let me connect the side sync and yes now my phone is uh, connected let me first of all run the app and let me show you the output and when we open it and there you can see we have the pick video button so i think i have not used the on click method let me see yes so we need to have the on click method for that and we have the open video and uh, also let me first of all uh, add the user permission so here we can say let me go to the apps section i think what was the name video trimmer and yes video trimmer tutorial and also we need to use the storage permission and now we can uh, run the app again now the app is getting installed on my phone
and now when we click on the pick video button here from there we can pick uh, let me show you yes okay so okay so I think the app is now crashed let me see where it crashed now app is again running and also let me again open the app and let's see where it crashed okay okay so here uh, i have this problem in format specifier inside this yes you can see this hr so we need to change that and here we will have uh, 2d and let me remove that and yes now it will work fine and now the app will run again and now we need to pick the video again then we can see yes uh, this video and now the video is, is being played here and now we can also change it let's say i want to trim it for from 4 seconds to 11 seconds okay so it will be a 7 seconds video and now if i click on the hair trim here it will ask me for the video name so i name it as first video and i click on submit and here you uh, you can see the progress bar is now running and it is the video is being trimmed and when it is completed you can see video trimmed successfully all right so now if we go to our uh, let me show you the folder and here we can see this video and let me see where I had saved it so okay so it will be in the trimmed videos section uh, folder so here we have uh, the trim video let me see where it is yes here and now you can see it and, and as I cannot play it on uh, the sightseeing app but now you can see the app is there alright guys so I hope you have understood something if you really like the video please give a thumbs up and also comment down below if you like the video okay guys goodbye